none of excluded middle. They're prose poems and have no titles. Oops, this is the wrong one. Wrong poem. <laughs> okay, here we go. When I say I believe that women have a soul and that its substance contains two carbon rings, the picture in the foreground makes it difficult to find its application back where the corridors get lost in ritual sacrifice and hidden bleeding. But the four points of the compass are equal on the lawn of the excluded middle. Their full maturity of meaning takes time the way you eat a fish, morsel by morsel off the bone. Something that can be held in the mouth deeply, like darkness by someone blind, or the empty space I place at the center of each poem to allow penetration. Because I refuse to accept the opposition of night and day, I must pit other, subtler periodicities against the emptiness of being an adult. Their traces inside my body attempt precariously, like any sign, to produce understanding. But so nothing may come of that, the grass is growing. Can words play my part and also find their own way to the house next door as rays converge and solve their differences? Or do notes follow because drawn to a conclusion? If we don't signal our love, Reason will eat our heart out before it can admit its form of mere intention and we won't know what has departed. It's a tall order that expects pain to crystallize into beauty. And we must close our eyes to conceive of heaven. The inside of the lid is fertile in, Im in images unprovoked by experience. Or perhaps its pressure on the eyeball equals prayer in the same way that inference is a transition toward assertion, even observing rites of dawn against the dark and un empty background. I have read that female prisoners to be hanged must wear rubber pants and a dress sewn shut around the knees because uterus and ovaries still were the shock down the shaft. I worried about the gap between expression and intent, afraid the world might see a fluorescent advertisement where I meant to show a face. Sincerity is no help once we admit to the lies we tell on nocturnal occasions, even in the solitude of our own heart. Wishcraft slanting the naked figure from need to seduce, seduce to fear of possession. Far better to cultivate the gap itself with its high grass for privacy and reference gone astray. Never mind that it is not philosophy but raw electrons jumping from orbit to orbit to ready the pit for the orchestra. Scrap meanings amplifying the succession of green perspectives, moist fissures, spasms on the lips. is not thinking, you said, more what colors it, like a smell entering our breath even to the seat of faith under the left nipple. Like the children I could have borne, shaping my body toward submission and subterfuge. It is possible, I admit it, to do physics in inches as well as in centimeters, but a concept is more than a convenience. It takes us through earnest doorways to always the same kind of example. No chance of denser vegetation, of the cool shadow of firs extending this line of reasoning into the dark. My love was deep and therefore lasted only the space of one second, unable to expand in more than one dimension at a time. The same way deeper meaning may constrict a sentence right out of the language into an uneasiness thus lakes and ponds. In language, nothing is hidden or our own. 
It's like indifferent to holes in the present all postulates beginning with ourselves. Still, you may travel alone and yet be accompanied by my good wishes. I wanted to settle down on a surface, a map perhaps, where my nearsightedness might help me see the facts. But grammar is deep. Even though it only describes, it submerges the mind in a maelstrom without discernible bottom, the dimensions of possible swirling over the fixed edges of nothingness. Like looking into blue eyes all the way through to the blue sky without even a cloud bank or flock of birds to cling to. What are we searching for behind the words as if a body of information could not also bruise? It is the skeleton that holds on longest to its native land. And the last one of this series is, as if I had to navigate both forward and backward, part of me turned away from where I'm going, taking the distance of long corridors to allow for delay and trouble, for keeping in the dark while being led on. In this way, Chinese characters seem to offer their secrets without revealing it. Invitation to enter a labyrinth which, like that of the heart, may not have a center. It is replaced by being lost, which I don't like to dwell on, because the search for motivation can only drive us downward toward pos potential that is frightening in proportion to its depth and sluice gates to disappearing. It is much better, I have been advised, just to drift with the stream. The ink washes into a deeper language, and in the end, the water runs clear. <laughs>